So a lady walks up to me as I am leaving the grocery store and she's like, excuse me, ma'am, is your hair real? And I'm like, uh, yeah. So the reason that I wanted to come and create this video is because now that my hair is growing, people are really asking me if my hair is real. And the answer is yes. So I chose Sister Locks and I want you to see how this can relate to your journey and what you are going to do. I chose Sister Locks because as I started my journey five years ago, so this month is my five year anniversary. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do like a journey to five years, right? So I noticed, and if you look around, everyone is starting to look the same look the same like a lot of black women are literally looking the same when it comes to the lace front wigs the weaves like so much and i am like where are the beautiful women who are rocking their hair one of the reasons why i chose sister locks is because i want to look different i like looking different like I don't look like anyone else when I go places. And even if there is another sister that also has sister locks, our locks do not look the same. So I love it that I am able to look so different than all of my other queens that are out there. The other thing that I chose sister locks is because of my hair. Like I had um, my edges, right? Before I decided to do my lock journey, I had like this small piece of hair that is on this side and it was so thin. It was thinning out. My hair was getting sore several different times. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, I didn't like this. Even when I had my perm, like, oh my gosh, like this little part of my hair and this other side right here, like it was thinning out. It wasn't growing the way that it should. And once I transitioned to natural hair and even my sister locks, I don't have those problems with my edges anymore. So if you are a person that is wearing a lot of wigs and a lot of weaves and especially those lace fronts that you have to like glue everything down, really be careful with your edges and also your skin. What I have noticed that so many women with the glue and stuff that is attached to your skin, like that's not healthy. That is really not healthy. So one of the reasons why I choose my journey is because i wanted to embrace like my roots like who i am you know like having my hair in this next natural texture just the way it is not manipulating it with a lot of weaves and wigs and perms and all of that like i literally went through that whole entire journey the other thing is what i see in the african-american community is like who told us that our hair wasn't beautiful? Like who told us that we should wear like those lace fronts? And the lace fronts are really getting like very, 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 very like extreme now. And I'm like, well, who told us that? Like, I think that now as so many women and so many people are becoming more conscious, it's so important to make that transition also with your hair. One of the things that my hair has allowed me to do, and this is a part of my journey as far as choosing sister locks. And regardless, if you choose sister locks, my micro locks, um, traditional locks, um, two strand twists, and then start interlocking them, whatever lock that you choose, just know that like you are freeing yourself. Because I have um, decided to do sister locks, I've been able to work out. Like I have never been able to work out consistently as a black woman, like for real, for real. Now I actually have a workout routine where I am not worrying about, oh my gosh, am I going to sweat my hair out? Or how is my hair going to look? Like I don't have that worry anymore because I could work out for long periods of time. Honey, do you see this waist? I'm actually doing waist training and I'll do a video, um, the waist training and i'll do a video about that but what i'm saying is now i have more time to work out in my life and in my business the other thing that i've been able to do with having sister locks is i've been able to eat healthier like i'm no longer worried about like oh well how am i going to wear my hair this week or what am i going to do with my hair or going to the weave store or picking out wigs or picking out um just like any of those things like i really don't have that worry anymore because my hair brought me frustration before I got my locks, it brought me frustration. Um, it brought me just like confusion, overwhelmed. Um, it was just so many things that my hair did. And now that I chose the path of locks, like I feel so different. I feel free. I feel lighter. And that's one of the things that you feel as well. Like you feel lighter. Clarity comes.
clarity comes. And I know this may sound crazy. You may be like, oh, well, you just changed your hair. Well, now I'm clear. Like now I have time to create. Now I have time to start another business. I have time to do other things that really, really matter to me. So hold on, let me turn on my fan because it's getting hot. So now that I have my locks, my life has literally been able to change. So I want you to think about your journey and your life and take an inventory. Um, the other thing that I've been able to do with my locks is eat healthier. Eat healthier. Eating healthy has changed my life so much because now with me on like the veg vegetarian journey, vegan journey, whatever you may call it, sometimes I eat seafood, but I haven't had anything in like a week, like any seafood in a week. So I don't know what you call that, but um, I've been able to eat healthy. And one thing that I have noticed, and I'm not going to deviate from the topic so much of hair, but one thing that I have noticed that diseases are really taking African Americans out of here like never before, like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and all of that. And really, when I change my hair, I literally believe in my heart of heart that I've changed my life. Because now that I'm able to work out, you know, like working out actually helps with fighting disease and high blood pressure and diabetes, right? Eating healthy, eating healthy allows you to make sure that you know like you are getting the nutrients and stuff that you need so not to say that i'm a health professional because i'm not but of course everyone knows now how important it is to eat your fruits and your vegetables and i truly believe that with me changing my lifestyle as far as first starting with my hair because before i changed my hair i was not doing all these things that's just totally being honest with you before i changed my hair I was not eating healthy. I was not working out consistently. I was not having a other business or other streams of income that I could actually have. Like I was not doing those things because I was so overwhelmed. But since I changed my life now, it gives me time to do those things that I've never thought that I would have been able to do before. So now I am able to eat healthier, right? Now I am able to do some of the things that I've always wanted to do because I have the freedom of my hair. So that's what I'm telling you. So if you are thinking about, even if you're transitioning right now, just a natural hair or just to you know whatever kind of locks you are literally going to change your life and if you do not change your life from converting to sister locks or whatever kind of locks then that's really on you like if you are still sick right that that is or you know no offense to anyone who may be suffering from any of these diseases i'm not trying to offend anyone but i'm just talking about my journey as far as me being able to change my life also the other thing is what i have noticed is when i change my hair because a lot of times you put these weaves and these wigs and stuff and what kind of message is that literally send into your body like you are telling your hair hair i don't like you so you cover it up. And I was doing the same thing, right? So then my hair started breaking off. My hair started um, like just so much breakage and stuff that I've experienced just with all of those things. So what is that telling your hair? So now your hair comes out because you don't take pride in who you are. So the message is that my transition into this hairstyle has literally allowed me to change my life. That's what I'm getting to. This is not just a trend. Like this is a life change a lifestyle change hair is a part of the journey i truly believe my hair has literally changed my life hair is a part of the journey once you embark on a journey if you don't change your life then mm, you really should think about it so the reason why i chose sister locks is for the versatility of it um i liked it because it i just felt like these type of locks will look better on me um, I'm able to do different things with my hair, like curl it. I don't curl it much, but I do make sure that I do like the crimpy look. Like I've really been digging like the, um, the braid outs lately. So I've been enjoying my braid outs, putting them in ponytails, especially when it's time for me to do workouts and stuff. And this journey has been so enjoyable. And I want to just share a little piece with you, like, you know, what's been going on or how you too can change your life and change your mind and change your lifestyle, even with just your hair when you change your life like for real like this is a really really like deep conversation you will change your life and the people around you you have more time with your children your spouse your friends like now you have more time to do those things that you always thought that you should have done now you actually have the time to do it 
So I'm almost at 10 minutes. Um, I'll be coming and doing more videos like this. So if you like anything that I'm saying, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and we will talk soon. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.